good evening to our distinguished guests and the audience. Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy welcomes you to an audiovisual presentation by our special guest of the evening, Mr. Yari Yetsunan. I would like to call upon Mr. B. Malhotra, Chairman, Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy, to present a bouquet of welcome to our guest, Mr. Yari Yetsunan. I would like to request Mrs. Dipika Gandhi, Director, Lurkabuzia Center, to present a bouquet of welcome to Mrs. Yetsunan. Thank you, ma'am. We would also like to welcome Mr. Kapil Setia, Chief Architect Chandigarh. We also extend a warm welcome to architect S.T. Sharma and Professor Rajneesh Vatas. Now I request Mr. B. Malhotra to kindly address the gathering. Good evening, everyone. Respected Jari Jetson Ji, Mrs. Jetson, and Kapil, Kapil Setia Ji, Chief Architect, S.D. Sharma Ji, uh, Professor Janish Vattas Ji, and I have been here for a long time. I have been here for a long time. So I welcome all of you, architecture students, and architecture community. I have been here for a long time. 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 So that's not wrong. And the other thing, this is our Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy is connecting art and architecture since last two or three years. So we have started the event not only art, art and architecture, both are sister brother, I, I will say. And first of all, in this series, we started B.V. Doshi from Ahmedabad, then Sirish Barry from Kolapur, then we have organized architecture competition and exhibition, M.N. Sharma Foundation. And, uh, and we are also very thankful to Professor Janish Vattas, who is all coordinating all these architecture events. So thank you very much, sir. Or Dusra Joy Amara, we are honored with your slideshow. Lalit Kala Academy feel honored. And he has written so many books, talks, workshops in his credits. And I also thanks our CLK staff member and others who have helped in this presentation. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Professor Rajneesh Vatas to share some words on the note of architectural photography. First of all, I'm a very happy man today, personally, because I remember that wonderful evening when Yari and his wife his son-in-law, and the, we spent a very warm, cozy evening together at my house, and he had come here to photograph the Capitol complex and the Kabuzia's works in the city. And somebody, you know, I think I can be safely re-Christianed as the Raju guide of the city, because uh, somebody says that, you know, that fellow so-and-so, he'll probably help you around. So that's how our uh, connect started. And at that point of time, he talked about this, you know, this idea of exhibition. But he was stopping and limiting himself to Delhi. So I egged him on, if you don't bring it, the work of, you know, tomorrow's exhibition is there on uh, Kabuzir and Alvar Alto. If you don't bring it to Chandigarh, then Kabuzir will turn in his grave. Thank you, sir, for your wonderful words. Now we move on to the audiovisual presentation. Mr. Yari Yetsunin is a Finnish photographer who has mostly focused on photographing Finnish architecture. He has photographed Alto's architecture for over 20 years and also world bathing culture. He has designed exhibitions and has been the author of 15 architecture books. His projects include exhibitions on bathing culture, three continents bathing, Finnish sauna, Japanese Furo, American Indian Inupi, of which he was awarded the Finnish Sauna Society Prize in 2003. Since 1986, he has taught the basics of architectural techniques, including measured drawings, building architectural models, and architectural photography at several universities and workshops in Finland, Japan, United States, and Turkey. In his photographs, he would like to show people the same way he sees nature through material and tradition. His latest exhibition is, is Reflections, Le Kabuzia, and Alvar Alto. 
With this, I invite Mr. Yari Yetsunen to present his audiovisual uh, presentation titled Nordic Lights, Thoughts on Architectural Photography. Also nice words. It's for me and, and my wife, Sirkalisa, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here in the architectural Mecca, Shandikar. So I think so this is somehow the the highest point on on my career, so I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> but um, but before before starting, I would like to tell that uh, how I got it uh, the first camera, and uh, that was the year was something like uh, 1965. I was seven years old, and uh, and on that time. Uh, there was the, the Coca-Cola company was organized that kind of um, uh, sponsoring people to having the, the cameras that if you collect something like 100 cups of the Coca-Cola bottles, you could get the, the free camera. And uh, we call it that the Coca-Cola camera. And, and just uh, about half a year ago, I was uh, looking the, the my old black and white photos, and I see that the, there is still a bit same to those photos which I took the nowadays. So it was probably probably something which is coming the, the deeper for for me than just the learning the technique. But uh, of course, I, I'm, I'm nowadays using much, much for the, the the color pictures, not so so much for the black and black and white. Of course, most of the architectural photographs are black and white, but uh, but because I I took the the pictures for the historical buildings and they they have already black and white pictures of those. That's why I want to show the people that what are the colors and how important those are for the architects. We had uh, uh, three architectural photographers. And uh, left, there is the Alvar Aalto's famous photographer, Eino Mäkinen, who used to work in the Aalto's buildings in, in 1930s and, and 40s and, and, and still a bit in, in 50s. He was originally for the film, Finnish film industrial shooting, making, making films. But uh, Aalto loved it, those, those films so much that he asked it that please, Eino Mäkinen, could you, could you shoot my buildings? And in uh, the and, uh, 1950s, Eino Mäkinen was already blind, but Aalto loved to use the Eino Mäkinen's pictures and uh, Aalto was carried the camera and put it, put it the, the stand and said it to Eino Mäkinen, just push here, now it's coming good photo. So he, he used the, the blind photographer because Eino Mäkinen has been, has been the, took the most of his iconic photos. So here, here is Eino Mäkinen in the, in the roof and, and then then one of my heroes is, uh, <coughs> it's, it's also the Julius Schulman, the, the uh, photographer from California. There is the, one of the, his uh, iconic photos, it's the, uh, the case study house number nine. And uh, I think so, that has been the one photograph, photograph has been published over, over a thousand times. That where, where he, he took. And then the last one, it's, it's my picture. And uh, I have took that the, the pocket um, uh, camera, uh, which has the panorama. And uh, that somehow tells to my, my idea what is my, what I try to s uh, say it to my photos. So, so there is the there is the the object. It's it's lying there, and the architecture, 
and uh, then it's the it's the the way how between the camera to the object that's the um, i said it that's the japanese door it's the road and that's somehow the important of course the object is important but also the road what would be happens between the camera lens and the object if there is something interesting so now i'm there and uh, and then you can see the 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 part of the building it's Yernutson Samokotits in, in Mallorca. Okay, and, uh, <coughs> and uh, this, this photo has been uh, taken in the, in the January, the 4th of January. It's one of the Alvarado's building in the, in the Helsinki Center. Originally, there has been in the film, but we couldn't couldn't uh, work in the in the program. Didn't didn't work it here. But uh, so next. So here we can see the 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 building. It's Enzo Kutzaik office building in in Helsinki, and this this is in the July. So lots of light totally different in the winter time that in the summer time it's the white marble marble building okay then i have uh, some uh, similarities wh where i i try to um, i was uh, somehow studied uh, some uh, important photograph that I make my own version of that one. That is the, the Finnish uh, national landscape, Koli. You know that the Finland, it's uh, 100,000 of lakes country. So this part, it's, it's near to the Russian border. It's uh, our, our um, uh, younger daughter, who is uh, standing there, and I said it that please look the horizontal, look that uh, somewhere far. So, so I tried to make a bit similar photograph that Julius Schulman has made it from uh, from uh, uh, his daughter in in Mexico. So it was my version of, th of that one. Also, the Julius Schulman uh, case study house. The, this is that the, the uh, left, it's that the legendary photo from, from there. So I took the photo that where the, those two girls has just moved away in the daytime. So it's, it's a bit the same same uh, same uh, moment but happens for the for the next next day then Eino Mäkinen's picture from Alvarado in the Vuokse Diska church and I took the picture to my daughter in the same church so these are something that I have been testing testing that the, the how the famous photos has been working in 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 my uh, palette, and then then this is Ezra Stoller photograph from MIT building. There is the black and white, and and my color uh, photos on the on the right from the same place in the spring. Okay, and this is, uh, what was the architect? Philip Johnson, sorry. His uh, glass house in, uh, in near to New York. And that's, that's interesting when, when we visited there, 
it was the that wasn't the uh, smoke or or fog. It was the there was the water artist who who has the uh, put the, the what is the mist mist for the for the side and uh, get the get the uh, feeling of that it's it's like a dream for the for the building and these these are also also from that Philip Johnson glass house and this the the free reflection the the windows to the side uh, they are like a, like a mirrors And that's uh, one of the uh, Erosarinen's house, the Miller house, uh, uh, which Ero was designing to the, to the fa one family. And uh, these are, uh, I, I want to show that uh, how, uh, how through you can uh, you can see the the building through the through the the, the courtyard to the flowers and the building it's there on the back also in the, in the terrace it's through to the terrace and then the garden it's back then it's also to the through to the main door and the, and the uh, and the main living room uh, room it's on the back I don't know why it doesn't focus it. Well, but okay, I don't. And this is the through to the dining room to the garden. Erosarin was also the the designing for the for the furniture. And uh, this is one architect, Christian uh, Gulliksens. Some cottage from uh, Archipelago in, in Finland. The house is it's, uh, very simple, simple the, the wooden, wooden uh, building which opens the, the boat side. So, uh, so that, uh, that he says that uh, he can see the, when the sun rise up and the sun goes down that he he could he could uh, be if it's the rainy day in the in the building and and uh, and uh, and uh, can spend the, the whole day just uh, the looking if it's rainy day then then of course he doesn't see the sun but